I have said for a while now that hydrogen is the fuel of the future, but one comment I tend to get on my channel quite often is, hydrogen will never take off, it's practically a bomb, or have you ever heard of a hydrogen bomb? And the answer is yes, I have, but have you ever heard of a petrol bomb? Hydrogen is an explosive, but is it safe to use in our vehicles? Well, that is what I hope to answer in this video. So for the big question, can hydrogen cars explode? Well, hydrogen is very flammable, which is why it is such a great fuel source. But here is the cool thing, at normal pressures it will be in a gas state rather than a liquid state, which makes it safer than other forms of fuel. Why? Because gas dissipates. You see, in a hydrogen powered vehicle, the hydrogen is stored at very high pressures to keep it in a liquid state. But in the event of a crash, or if the tank would somehow get punctured, the hydrogen would simply disperse into the air. Compare that to other fuel sources that can pull on the ground and catch fire. Or battery vehicles. I mean electrical fires are super scary and putting one out is really difficult. Another thing to keep in mind is that today's hydrogen fuel tanks are also made from highly durable carbon fiber, whose strength is assessed not only in crash tests, but also in trials in which bullets are fired at it. So the tanks are pretty damn strong. For instance, the fuel cell used in the Toyota Mirai are lined internally with plastic and the cells underwent extreme crash and ballistic testing. Toyota spokesperson Jana Hartline said, Nothing could penetrate the cells, not even one of the bullets that were shot. They had to move to a higher caliber armor piercing rounds to pierce the tank and even then it had to be shot in the exact same spot twice with an armor piercing bullet. Then on top of that, they are also fitted with systems that can detect a possible leak and if it suspects a leak, it will shut down any hydrogen lines in the car, just to make sure. So to summarize it, the cell is insanely strong, but even if you are able to puncture the tank, the fuel will just dissipate. In other words, it seems to be safe. Now if it is so safe, and if hydrogen is such a green fuel source, why aren't we using it in all of our cars at the moment? Well, the truth is that, whilst there are many benefits to hydrogen vehicles, the infrastructure is simply not there yet to support the uptake. Most of the current refueling stations are in London and some parts of America, but many other countries are busy with plans to upgrade and install refueling stations. As of now, most countries' current target is to have running and working infrastructure by 2030, at which point hydrogen vehicles will be a much more viable option. Other reasons hydrogen has taken so long to take off is the production. Producing green hydrogen is difficult, but in the last year, so much has happened. Heisata created a super efficient electrolyzer, which I made an entire video on, and I'll leave a pop-up here. And there are many green hydrogen plants popping up all over the world. In fact, there is one right here in South Africa, where I'm from. Now for the conclusion. The truth is that whether you use hydrogen, petrol, diesel, or even electric as your source of power in your vehicle, there will be flammable elements in the car, each with its own set of different risks and potential problems. And at the end of it, hydrogen is no less safe than any of the other options. In fact, it is most likely safer than all the other options. Now, I hope this video helps some of you guys out there. There was actually quite like, I, I seen some people are worried that hydrogen is just too dangerous to use in vehicles. But I hope with this, I can give some peace of mind to all the people that are, have been worried. Um, now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on anything car related. I love cars. So if you love cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?